Information Technology. In this video, we are going to see about Information Technology. Information Technology is the use of computer software to manage information. Information Technology makes the tasks easier. It brought the world closer to us. IT is one of the booming sectors in India. Role of IT is to store the user data and it makes the manipulation and transactions on those data easier. Information technology reduces the work efforts of the users. User can enjoy the benefits of the IT with the help of computers and smartphones. Online shopping, ticket booking, Social networks, video calling, online banking, etc. are some of the major factors of information technology. IT industry plays a major role in the growth of Indian economy and also it makes more employment options. Nowadays, Due to the impact of information technology, everything had become online. Advantages of Information Technology IT Information technology has made the communication cheaper, quicker and more efficient. IT made the world more compact and it increased the world economy. IT made the business process computerized and cost-effective. Internet and IT technology made the world more flexible. IT made the different culture people to communicate with each other. Using the concept of online stores, IT made the business to be opened 24 cross 7 all over the globe. Disadvantages of Information Technology IT Information technology has many privacy issues. User data which are stored in online can be hacked and modified. The personal information of the people like account number, password, etc. can be hacked by the culprits. IT affects the culture of the people and the youngsters are mostly being spoiled in their behavior. Need for Cyber Law In this video, we are going to see about Need for Cyber Law. The evolution of information technology give birth to the cybercrime. Though information technology is very useful and it has made everything possible and it has many problems too. The main problem with IT is the privacy issue. The personal details which are stored in the online servers are being hacked and misused. Bank account details, mail ID, password, photos, conversations, etc. are being hacked and misused by the hackers. These type of offenses are called as cyber crimes. In the online world, the copyright, patent and trademark laws protects much of the material found on the internet. Nowadays, there is a separate section in police department to deal only with cyber crimes. With the emergence of technology, the misuse of technology has also expanded to its optimum level and then there arises a need of strict laws to regulate the criminal activities in the cyber world. In order to regulate the criminal activities in the cyber world, the cyber laws were introduced. The importance of cyber law is that it deals with almost all aspects of transaction and activities concerning the internet, world wide web and cyberspace in India. Indian IT Act Now, we are going to see about Indian IT Act. 
इंडियन आईटी एक्ट दिस लॉ डील्स विद द टेक्नोलॉजी इन द फील्ड ऑफ ई कॉमर्स ई गवर्नेंस ई बैंकिंग एज वेल एज पेनाल्टीज एंड पनिशमेंट्स इन द फील्ड ऑफ साइबर क्राइम्स ई कॉमर्स ई गवर्नेंस ई बैंकिंग पेनाल्टीज पनिशमेंट्स Information Technology Act 2000 consisted of 94 sections segregated into 13 chapters. Information Technology Act 2000 addressed the following issues: legal recognition of electronic documents, legal recognition of digital signatures, offenses and contraventions, justice dispensation systems for cyber crimes, legal recognition for transactions. some of the important cyber law provisions in india section offense section 43 accessing copying data introducing the virus to others computer damage to the network or computer punishment he should pay the compensation to the affected person not exceeding 1 crore section 65 offense tampering with computer source documents intentional concealment destruction or alteration of source code when the computer source code is required to be kept or maintained by law for the time being in force punishment imprisonment up to 3 years or fine up to 2 lakh rupees or both section 66 offense hacking destroy delete or altering the user data punishment imprisonment up to 3 years or fine up to 5 lakh rupees or both section 66a offense sending offensive message through any communication service etc punishment imprisonment up to 3 years and with fine section 67 offense publishing or transmitting obscene material in electronic form punishment imprisonment up to 5 years and fine up to 10 lakh rupees intellectual property rights in this animation we are going to learn about intellectual property rights what is intellectual property rights intellectual property ip refers to creation of the mind such as inventions literary and artistic works designs and symbols names and images used in commerce the assets that cannot be seen touched or physically measured are called as intellectual property ip can be broadly defined as creations of the mind generation of ip involves huge investment in terms of money talent time etc hence the intellectual property rights ipr is introduced in order to avoid duplication and to have ownership rights over it intellectual property rights ipr intellectual property rights ipr is the rights granted to creators and owners of works that are the results of human intellectual creativity
These rights safeguard creators and other producers of intellectual goods and services by granting them certain time-limited rights to control their use. The intellectual activity may be of industrial, scientific, literary and artistic domains which can be in the form of an invention, a manuscript, a suit of software or a business name. Intellectual Property Rights Issues The globalization of technology and skill, emergence of new technologies and the rapid development of emerging economies have jointly elevated the importance of IPR protection both politically and commercially. IPR has gained commercial and political salience in recent years because the stakes involved are huge and growing. IPR violations cause job and revenue losses in rich countries. Types of intellectual property rights Patents a patent describes an invention for which the inventor claims the exclusive right to make, use and sell an invention for a specific period. Types of patents Utility patents Design patents Plant patents Utility patents Utility patents can be granted to anyone who invents or discovers any new and useful process machine utility period is for 20 years design patents it can be granted to anyone who invents a new original ornamental design for an article of manufacture a design patent has duration of 14 years from the date of filing plant patents Plant patent can be granted to anyone who invents or discovers and reproduces a new variety of plant. A plant patent has a term of 20 years from the date of filing. Copyright It gives the creator of original work exclusive rights to it, usually for a limited time. Copyright may apply to a wide range of creative, intellectual or artistic forms. It does not cover ideas and information themselves. Registered Design Registered Design protects the visual design of objects An industrial design consists of the creation of a shape, configuration or composition of pattern or color or combination of pattern and color in three-dimensional form containing an artistic value. Trademarks A trademark is a recognizable sign, design or expression which distinguishes products or services of a particular trader from the similar products or services of other traders. Trade secrets A trade secret is a formula, practice, design, instrument pattern which is not generally known by which a business can obtain an economic advantage over competitors. Confidentiality Confidentiality information is any information that a business regards as secret. It can include financial information such as business plans or technical information such as specifications or computer software. Confidential information may have a significant commercial value and needs to be protected as an asset. Plant varieties Plant varieties also known as plant breeders rights. Plant breeders rights are intellectual property rights given to a person 
who has developed a variety a variety must be new clearly distinguishable from any other variety whose existence is a matter of common knowledge sufficiently uniform in its relevant characteristics and stable application of information technology in railways now we are going to see about what is an application of information technology in railways computers and information technology are widely used in the railway system and railway industry IT plays a vital role in railways. It made it more efficient and simple. The online reservation system allows the users to make reservations at the comfort of their homes. The online reservation system also integrates other related services like IRCTC PNR status check. live train status availability of tickets train schedules etc a route based reservation system that facilitates the issue of journey come reservation tickets which can be issued from any station to any station Passenger journey to multiple laps of reservation can be handled from a single terminal window and also round the clock service. Provides automatic database recovery against all kinds of hardware and software failures. Indian Railways uses information technology for many purposes. They are passenger reservation system solution mobile ticketing web ticketing kiosk based ticketing passenger information display system traffic management system and reserved ticketing system for railways there are many railway mobile applications to check the live train status ticket availability and train schedules seat numbers pna status etc The cloud-based train security system has been installed in some parts of India. It will check for any problem in train tracks or wheels. It is mainly used for preventing derailments. With the help of modern technologies, the live train location can be tracked and the railway station automatically manages the signal and track allocation works. it reduces the waiting time of each train for the signal application of information technology in airlines now let us see an application of information technology in airlines In airlines many different systems will interact to make a plane fly safely but all these systems depend on the computers Information technology plays an overall role starting from the passenger ticket booking to the take off and landing of the flight Ticket reservation A ticket facility enables passengers to book tickets to any destination on the airline's route network through the internet
e-ticket is fast, safe and convenient. Customer service 24 hour interactive voice response IVR system for information on the flight when users really need it. The flight arrival and departure time is predicted by knowing the live flight status and they are communicated to the passengers. Thus, the passengers can plan their schedule according to the flight schedule. Security services Many security services of the airport rely on the computers. Security screening machines such as luggage scanning, face recognition rely on the computers. Air traffic Computers are crucial to an airport air traffic control services. Computers allow air traffic controllers to visualize and track the location of planes in the air and then instruct pilots as to the correct course of action. Autopilot Flight Director System The autopilot system uses the computers. This relieves the pilots of many in-flight tasks, allowing the plane to process navigational data and flight control systems. Additionally, some airplanes have wing flaps that can be controlled by a computer. Flight Management System FMS the flight management system FMS is the fundamental component of the modern flights. It provides centralized flight deck control of the plane's flight path and performance parameters. FMS is a specialized computer system that automates a wide variety of in-flight tasks and it reduces the workload on the flight crew. Applications of Information Technology in Banking In this animation, we are going to learn about an application of information technology in banking. Information technology has been acknowledged as the life wire of banks in the financial sector as it promotes and facilitates the performance of banks in the country. The banking sector is now no more confined to a narrower field of a particular region, state or a country. Introduction of computerized application has brought a new concept of internet banking. Information technology made the banking sector as more efficient and effective. Indian banking industry is the second largest spender to the IT industry. The application of IT in banking sector provides enormous benefits to the banks as well as its consumers. 
information technology has been the basis of recent financial sector reforms aimed at increasing the speed and reliability of financial operations and of initiatives to strengthen the banking sector. The progress of technology and the development of worldwide networks have significantly reduced the cost of global funds transfer. IT also facilitates the introduction of new delivery channels in the form of automated teller machines, ATM, net banking, mobile banking, credit card. Banks are interconnecting their computer systems not only across branches in a city but also to other geographic locations with high-speed network infrastructure and setting up local area and wide area networks and connecting them to the internet. The advantages due to IT in banking is as follows. Anytime banking, telebanking, Electronic Banking Banks can provide wide range of customer support. A transaction through banks increases. Banks can manage the user accounts easily. Applications of Information Technology in Insurance Now we are going to see about an application of information technology in insurance. The volume of transaction is very large in any insurance organization. The data and information are to be stored for a longer period because insurance contracts are long term, especially life insurance contracts. Insurance related IT applications makes the insurance sector to provide more services to its clients and also it made the task of making calculations and maintaining records easier. IT made insurance sector more effective and efficient. Some of the IT applications are as follows. Services on existing policies, new business, Renewal, Loans, Offers, Statistics, Premium, Valuation, Services on Existing Policies. The existing policy holders may require many services after taking the insurance. IT applications will help them to provide instant service for the customer queries by using a single application. New business As and when the customer needs a new insurance, the customer's previous available information can be used instead of getting and processing it again. Renewal Renewal notifications and other alerts can be sent to the available huge amount of customers at the right time. Even birthday and festival wishes can also be sent at the right time. Loans The policy holders can take loans on their available policies and the records needed to it can be maintained easily. Offers According to the punctuality and business of the users, special offers can be given to the valuable customers. Statistics the statistics and overall performance of the company and a product can be obtained by processing the huge data stored in the database. It will help to improve the service and the business. Premium Calculation of premium amount for each month based on policy duration and interest due to any fine amount can be calculated easily. Valuation Calculation of policy mature amount involves many strategies. It can be done with the help of policy management applications and they are more accurate too.
Applications of Information Technology in Inventory Control In this video, we are going to see about the application of information technology in inventory control. An inventory control system is the hardware or software component which is used to manage all aspects of company's inventories, purchasing, shipping, receiving, tracking, warehousing and storage, turnover and reordering. Computerization has revolutionized inventory management as technologies ranging from automatic scanners to radio frequency identification chips. Inventory control is important to ensure quality control in businesses that handle transactions revolving around consumer goods. Inventory control software keeps track of all information about the company bills, buys, stores and sales. There are many applications of inventory control software. Some of them are Receipt of goods Retail turnover Stock management and cost reduction Receipt of goods a retail store or a central warehouse uses barcode or radio frequency identification scanning at the point of receipt of goods. Scanning individual items or shipment pallets allows a company to itemize all shipments from the supplier which can be compared against the purchase order for errors or losses in transit. When your business ships these goods, out of the warehouse to their point of sale, a second scan can automatically tally the remaining stock in the warehouse and send messages to the purchasing managers indicating that it is time to reorder. And also, the receipt of the product will also get generated by storing the sales details in the database, which can be used later for sales analysis. Retail turnover. The sales records are used to calculate the total turnover and available stock details. Many businesses use similar scanning techniques at the point of checkout. As of 2010, barcode scanners are more popular than RFID for this purpose. Both will automatically enter the correct price at the register and prevent data entry errors. With the help of the sales details, the business statistics and the growth of the company can be calculated. This will help to improve the business and to provide great service to the customers. The overall profit, loss and expense of the company can be calculated easily. Stock Management and Cost Reduction the process of moving goods through a company's pipeline is always economically inefficient. The purchase of the goods represents an investment of the company and the company would not get profit until the inventory is sold. Computerization provides a real-time picture of this entire workflow process and allows managers to reduce purchasing costs through. Minimizing inventory, increasing the efficiency of internal shipping systems, reduce the possibility of theft or damage by being able to track each item down to the individual staffer who takes responsibility for it. Inventory control system has many benefits such as improves customer satisfaction, minimizes the investment in stocks, Time efficient in maintaining stock and sales details. Avoids overstocks. Some of the inventory control software are Pot Keeper, Inventory Tracker, SOS Inventory, Inflow, Retail Inventory, ABC Inventory. Applications of Information Technology in Financial Systems. In this animation, we are going to learn about an application of information technology in financial systems. Information technology allows finance to function on a global level.
financial markets can be thought of as the first organized global information markets operating through networked computers without information technology financial markets could not react to global developments and finance companies could not consistently acquire information at the same time as their competitors reserve bank of india undertook important steps covering information technology infrastructure and implementation of new applications to ensure safety security soundness efficiency accessibility and authorization in the payment and settlement systems due to the impact of information technology many new technologies are introduced in the financial sector they are as follows core banking solutions cbs automated teller machines atms electronic clearing service ecs real time gross settlement rtgs prepaid payment systems core banking solutions cbs core banking solutions cbs is networking of branches which enables customers to operate their account and avail of banking services from any branch of the bank on cbs network regardless of where the customer maintains his or her account thus cbs is a step towards enhancing customer convenience through any time anywhere banking automated teller machines atms it is one of the great services provided by the banks to the customers account holders can collect money from any nearby atms at any time there is no need of carrying money during travel electronic clearing service ecs electronic clearing service ecs is an electronic mode of payment or receipt for transactions that are repetitive and periodic in nature ECS is used by institutions for making bulk payment of amounts towards distribution of dividend interest salary pension etc essentially ECS facilitates bulk transfer of money from one bank account to many bank accounts or vice versa real time gross settlement rtgs this real time gross settlement rtgs is a continuous settlement of funds transfer individually on an order by order basis prepaid payment systems prepaid payment systems facilitates the purchase of goods and services against the value stored in the user accounts the prepaid payment can be made with the help of smart cards magnetic strip cards internet accounts internet wallets mobile accounts mobile wallets paper vouchers etc there are also several other features such as internet banking and mobile banking which are explained in previous sections applications of information technology in hotel management now we are going to see about applications of information technology in hotel management advertisement and online booking the information technology plays a vital role in advertising a hotel the hotel wants to be visited by many clients hence the hotels make a website that contains the location of the hotels and what are the amenities by doing these tourists from all parts of the world will know the hotel the advertisement of hotels will also be available in several tickets booking websites social networking portals like facebook twitter etc are increasingly playing a dominant role in the strategies of hotels all over user generated feedbacks and reviews on such websites play a huge role in popularizing the hotel it is easy for hotels to stay in touch with and maintain relationships with ex clients by making use of online tools 
The users can easily book the hotels according to their needs and budgets with the help of Android applications and websites. List of websites to book hotel rooms are goebibo.com, xego.com, yatra.com, eastmytrip.in. Room allocation and management. The hotels will use the room management software to know about the available vacant rooms and room vacating time and the details of the customer staying in the hotel. It helps them to maintain customer records for future use and also to have future relationship with their customers. Intercom and several other security features can be installed in hotels with the help of IT. Taking orders and billing. In several coffee shops, the orders and billing are made using the software applications. The customers can use the discount coupons to avail their offers. The payment is made using the credit or debit cards. iPod and other devices are used to take orders from the customers. Application of Information Technology In this animation, we are going to learn about Applications of Information Technology in Education The role of Information Technology in Education is exploring the potential for technology to redefine the terms of teaching and learning. Books are limited in their advantages. They cannot be updated and they are accessible only to the persons who are physically present. Digital information technology surpasses books in every way. The information may be saved anywhere and also it can be easily shared. The internet allows universal access and searchability and it can be easily updated. Information technology has made the greatest impact on classroom experience. The modern internet technology allows the instructor the possibility of providing immediate access to the worldwide data sources to the students. IT made the students think wider and also to search for more information about a topic. The technologies such as PowerPoint, MS Word, etc. decreased the cost spent on study materials and it made the data sharing easier. IT made the teaching and learning through a variety of available resources. Information about any topic can be easily accessed. It made the information available at any time and anywhere. Due to the impact of IT, it is easy to get authentic and up-to-date information. Multimedia concept of learning and teaching came into effect in the field of education, which is more interactive and interesting. Smart class systems are being implemented in all educational institutions. The concepts of collaborative learning made it easy to study as well as teach in groups or in clusters. Internet supports thousands of different kinds of operational and experimental services, which is called as an online library. Plenty of information can be gathered from it. The concept of distance education has emerged which does not need the student to be physically present in the classroom. Information technology has made the drastic changes in teaching the disabled persons by introducing many software applications. New technologies can be learned from the online tutorials available in the internet. Nowadays, there are many Android applications available which are education oriented such as ebooks, tutorials, etc. We can download and install those things from Play Store. Applying for several public exams and college entrance exams are all done in online. Even online exams are also conducted through internet. Application of Information Technology in Video Games Now, let us see the application of Information Technology in Video Games.
Video games are the electronic games that make humans to get relaxed. It gets an input from user and generates a visual feedback. Video games have become an important part of contemporary global entertainment and media. In olden days, the video games were played only on television. But now, computers and smartphones are the major components of games. Games can assist in the development of skills and proficiency by making users interact with digital objects and manipulate variables. Their development involves educational scientists, learning psychologists, and game developers in order to state learning objectives, which can be achieved with relevant activities. Due to the growth of information technology, new technologies and games are being introduced. Thus, the number of game players is always increasing, irrespective of the age of people. Mobile games and playstations are the latest technologies in gaming. In social gaming, user can connect two or more players through internet and play games along with them. It can also be done with Bluetooth. There are many types of video games. They are casual games, serious games, educational games. Casual games. They are simple and easy to understand and also while playing casual games, one can jump in and out of the play on demand. It includes video games such as Solitaire or Minesweeper which can commonly be found pre-installed with many versions of Microsoft Windows operating system. Serious games. They are designed primarily to convey information or a learning experience of some sort to the players. Some serious games may even fail to qualify as a video game in the traditional sense of the term. Educational games. The educational video games have the purpose of teaching their users about a chosen subject, expanding existing knowledge or assisting in acquiring a certain skill while playing. Educational video games exist for children and adults alike and on different platforms. Application of Information Technology in Telephone Exchanges Now. We are going to see about application of information technology in telephone exchanges. A telephone exchange is a telecommunication system used in the public switched telephone network or in large enterprises. An exchange consists of electronic components that interconnect that is switch telephone subscriber lines or virtual circuits of digital systems to establish telephone calls between subscribers. In the telecommunication field, a telephone exchange or switch is a call transferring or switching system comprising of electronic components that connects telephone calls. It is a central system of switches and other equipment mainly referred as a central office that establishes a speech link between users. In 1918, manual switching of calls was being done and it took an average time of 15 minutes to connect a long-distance call. It was time-taking and uneconomical. Thus, automatic exchanges or dial service was introduced whose major purpose was to eliminate the need for manual switching done by human telephone operators. It replaced the human operators with computerized exchanges the brain of an automatic exchange is a telephone switch, which is the device for routing or transferring calls. The switching system in the exchange can be divided into three main subunits. Trunk groups, the switching network, the common control. 
A telephone switch is a piece of equipment that connects the phone call based on hardware or hardware and software that is soft switch. It is used for call transferring, switching or routing. Switches are used in both local central offices and in long distance branches and centers. Soft switch Soft switches are the processing devices to control call that receive call requests for users and then assign call connections directly between communication devices. Soft switches only set up these connections and do not actually transfer call data. Soft switches were developed to replace the existing end office EVO switches which have limited interconnection capabilities. To transfer the communication path connections from high capacity dedicated lines to other packet networks that are more efficient, for example, packet data on the internet. This allows a soft switch to operate anywhere without any need to be connected to a high capacity trunk connection. Application of Information Technology in Mobile Technology In this video, we are going to see about the application of information technology in mobile technology. The mobile phone is rapidly becoming the user device and it became as a part of our life. Mobile phones have already started functioning as more than just communication devices. Even with the limited free games that come with basic phones, they are already good for time pass. The older generation mobiles were only used to make calls and sending SMS. But nowadays, due to the huge impact of information technology, mobile phones had brought the entire world into our palm. Mobile phones have become more compact and efficient. Smartphones are the latest mobile phones and due to the availability of Android and other mobile applications, the usage of mobiles had reached a great extent. Smartphones with internet can be used for anything. Usage of social websites has made the world smaller. One can communicate with any other person in any part of the world easily. Smartphones and emergence of information technology has made the life easier and simple. Some of the applications of information technology for mobile phones are as follows. Video calling and voice chats. Saving contacts. Sending SMS and multimedia messages to save notes and reminders for important events. Scheduling works. Sending and receiving mails. Browsing on the internet. Camera. Online shopping. Photo editing. Study applications. Online banking. Playing games. Ticket booking, music player, YouTube, wide usage of social networks. Thus, smartphones have a wide range of usages in the modern world. It makes our lives simpler and modern. Application of information technology in information kiosk. Now, we are going to see about the application of information technology in information kiosks. In information technology, a kiosk is a small physical structure which includes a computer and a display screen that displays information for people in public areas or on business premises. The word is of Turkish and earlier Persian origin where it meant an outdoor pavilion or a portico. A number of companies specialize in creating multimedia kiosks. A simple kiosk can be created using HTML pages and graphics, removing the web browser's toolbar so that the display screen is effectively in kiosk mode. Kiosks 
are commonly near the entrances of shopping malls where they provide shoppers with directions. Kiosks are also used at trade shows and professional conferences. More sophisticated kiosks let users interact and include touch screens, sound, and motion video. The technological capabilities of the information kiosk touchscreen and information kiosk software are virtually limitless. The information kiosk touchscreen eliminated many of the issues associated with the keyboard interface. Combined with ever-improving software security, many companies and industries have found innovative ways to conduct business directly through these kiosks. Information kiosks and Internet kiosk systems utilize similar software and hardware platforms to perform somewhat different functions. Information kiosks are designed to provide access to one or more focused applications such as browsing a store's product catalog or learning about a venue's available service. Internet kiosks, on the other hand, provide on-demand access to a wide variety of internet sites, email, and more in exchange for a permanent free. Recently, the line between these devices has blurred, with some newer kiosk systems providing aspects of both. Whether you are working on computer information kiosks or an internet kiosk system, make sure that your software offers a secure lockdown environment and robust kiosk management tools. Like other types of self-service kiosks, informational and internet kiosks typically utilize a strong industrial strength housing along with a number of specialized peripherals such as card readers and thermal receipt printers. Information kiosks are mainly used in ATMs and financial services, casinos and gaming, restaurants and service vendors, employees and the workplace, advertisement, railway p &S status. Application of information technology in movies, that is, special effects. In this video, we are going to see about application of information technology in movies, that is, special effects. The special effects field involves the creation of specialty crafts and visuals for movies, television, or websites. Special effect includes stunts, animation, makeup, etc. Special effects technicians work with the numerous materials or computer programs to create visuals and effects for entertainment purposes. Special effects occupy a privileged phenomenological position in so far as in a world that is becoming increasingly oblique, invisible, distant, computerized special effects dramatize or foreground the act of perception as such. The growing use of computer animation and computer-generated imagery has produced increasingly elaborate and realistic visual effects. Special effects are amazing to watch. In one commercial, an object stops in mid-air and the camera pans around it. A simpler technique is used in this concept. A collection of still cameras, for example 30, is set up around the object. At the moment, when the action should freeze, all 30 cameras fire at once. The images they capture are played one after another to show the rotation. Not only the rotation occur, but the object is also moving in slow motion during the rotation. At least 5 different special effect techniques are combined to create the final image. A large number of still cameras capture the scene but they fire sequentially around the actor rather than all at once. The cameras shoot the object on a blue screen background. The object is suspended with a wire from the ceiling 
so that it can fall only part way or appear to float in midair. Once the scene is shot, software similar to morphing software interpolates between the images to allow the slow motion feel. The filmmaker can therefore slow down or speed up the action at will. The computer generated backgrounds are then superimposed onto the film. A technician deals with these entire imperfections on an image at a time using a computer and digitized versions of the images. Once the still images are perfect, the morphing software interpolates between them. Then, the background images are laid into the blue area. The technician has to build a complete 3D computer model of the computer generated scene and then key the rotation through the scene to the position of the camera in each frame of the film. Some of the software used for animation are as follows. Autodesk 3ds Max Autodesk Maya Motion Builder Stop Motion Pro Adobe After Effects Final Cut Pro Game Brio.